Let's go, go, media girl. And I'm at um, Sugar Rush Studios. Sugar Rush Studios with Melissa. So, what do you do? I'm an editor and a camera woman. Uh, what's an editor? An editor, uh, you splice up the video and put all the pieces together. So, like, whatever you're shooting here, you're going to edit when you get back. So, take all the all little clips and put it together to complete, like, a whole thing. Yeah. Cool. Um, and what was the other thing that you said that you do? I'm a camera woman. And what do you do? So, you just take the shots of everything? Yeah. Well, I do multicam. Yeah, and Sugar Rush, so it's uh, more like a st I'm staying on one person the whole time. So there's three cameras that cut in between each other. So we can grab everything at the same time. It's live, so you don't have to go back and shoot it again from the other angle. What do you mean, grab everything at the same time? Because um, it's multi-camera, you have like a vision mixer inside the control room, and uh, you click in between three cameras that have each their own shots. So you have wide and then probably uh, close-up or uh, M MCU of... Uh, one of the characters, or both of the characters, and then you cut between them. So, it's... It's cut. <laughs> How was that? That was fine. You want to ask MCU? Yeah, MCU. Yeah, what's MCM or MCU or what? It's a mid-close-up, so it's a shot from about here of the person. So you're getting that the whole time. So, it's detailed, but not too detailed. Okay. Yeah. Um, what skills do you need when you're um, doing the editing and camera? Skills, okay, well, it's all like practical and practical knowledge because I studied as well. So it's just understanding what shots work. You know, if you're being a camera person, you have an eye for framing and everything like that. Whereas in editing, it's putting all the pieces together, making sure it flows, you know. So it's all, you, you learn after a while what proper tools to use and stuff like that, you know. Uh, yeah, what's about framing? So there's a... Yeah, well, framing within the form, you, you work in uh, thirds, right? So you have your image, and you cut it up into three <coughs> pieces, you know? So it's, you know when you're framing something up, you don't want to put the person directly center, you know? Because then it's just, it's too off-putting. You're giving the person power, in a sense, I guess. Um, but if uh, you frame it just to, just to the side with it, like, say, like a pop plant behind them or something like that, make sh making sure that you don't put the pop plant right behind their head or else you look like you're growing something outside of your head, you know? Something that doesn't obscure your image. You need it to look pleasing on the eye. Nick. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, what school skills do you need that somebody um, who wants to do editing or camera should focus on? Well, uh, school skill. Yeah, well, well, I think, like, you have to... English, if you want to go into this kind of industry or camera work and stuff like that, I think a yeah, creative side, you have to have that creative side, so which comes through with storytelling as well, as art as well. So it's very, all those creative things, you know. Uh, maths is a good one. I didn't think I was going to need maths, but you need maths if you want to be a good camera person or lighting technician. You know? How so? Uh, you work in like, um, like, let me think about light temperature, you know. Like you get 35K for certain, like that 35K is indoors, 5,000K is outside. So that's the color of the lighting and you learn how, um, foot candles, like how far distance from the person you're going to light them and stuff like that. It's a weird process. <laughs> you'll, you'll see, once you get into it, maths is important. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so any tips to somebody who want to do editing and camera? Um... Just keep practicing, even if you're not in the industry now and you're still learning. There's a lot of editing programs online and tutorials and stuff that you can look at that will help you to test your creative ability, you know. Like editing, you can take any video, like making a music clip out of a song or something. It's just fun to cut with music, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's just be creative. Be free. Yeah, as a woman, because most people say cameraman, not camera woman, so they think it's mostly men doing it, or all men, so yeah. how is that? Uh, it's a bit different, like, uh, I'm the only woman here in my whole production, in the whole production company, so it's, it's different in the sense that, like, sometimes, I guess, it's uncommon to see this girl lagging around a camera and lagging around a tripod, and, you know, people are like, okay, that's, that's weird, it's, I'm like the only person that in my, my group here that does that. And then when you see me coming around with the camera, it's like, okay, weird perception, but I know that I can do it, you know? As a girl, you want to be able to do that and stuff like that. And um, I like to test the boundaries because that's why I got into the industry. And it's nice to be stand out from, from what 
people's perceptions are of what you should be in the industry, you know. I'm not going into uh, PA, which is a production assistant or anything like that. I want to be a camera person. That's something I'm aspiring to be. Not a lot of women out there, they do it, so, yeah. Cool. Well, that was Melissa from Sugar Rush. Yeah. And go, go, media girl.